What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we're going to do Garou and Saitama. <clears throat> the epic battle. So I thought this was I thought this was a good panel. There's so many good panels in this that um, Murata is like a great drawer. He's a great manga artist. So, but I thought this was funny. I thought this, <laughs> this like summed up um, the fight. So um, I'm kind of... The panel is actually a portrait panel, like in Garu's arm is kind of cut off in half of his face. But I'm going to like do it sort of full. I'm going to like attempt to like do it myself and add on to it, right? So I'm on the landscape page. Use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. We're going to start with Garu at the front, who is in sort of his Saitama power mode, right? So let's just go for it. Pencil eraser. Sketch it out lightly, hit pause if we go too fast. Try have fun. That's what drawing's all about. So let's go. Center point of my page is about here, right? I'm gonna come over, put Garrow's face here, and I'm gonna start with his eyes, right? Because he's got those big wide eyes. So curves up and over like that. And it's kind of so in the manga, you know, it's kind of like hairy at the end here. A bit thicker. And then it comes down this way. And kind of like that. And then bottom eyelid down, in, and up into that corner. And then he has all these stress lines kind of around his eye here. And there's lots of hatching and stuff, but I won't do all that. I kind of do semi manga, semi anime style. And his iris, small circle, just there. He's kind of in shock. Right, so then we got an eyebrow just above, so it's like here. And so just like a curved line going back that way. And then his nose, so we'll do the nose line just coming down here. It just comes down from where the eyebrow would be and in and then like a nostril there over do the next eye quite close together because they're quite big eyes curves over and again we'll just make it kind of a thick manga eyelid line Kind of like that, and then we go eye down underneath, bottom eyelid, stress lines around the eye. Because he's losing, he's losing spectacularly. And then eyebrow, just up here. Iris, like so. We can't see his mouth, right? Because he's got this sort of, I don't know, like armor that's all over, right? So we just go down for his chin. And the chin is like, say, top of his eye to his nostril there. It's about where your chin level is, nostril to chin. So here to here. So like this area to here. It's about the same as there to chin. And he's got a real pointy chin. Like it's a small sort of... Well, it's not pointy, but it's thin. Right? So roughly, this space is the same. So like the top, well, it's near the top of his eye there. And this space is about the same. Right? So that'll give you your proportion. And then his jaw comes up the side. His jaw comes up the side here. So then, change direction up for the side of his face. Up here. Same on this side. Like so. And we start to get like all these kind of zigzag sort of stuff coming up 
here. His ears sort of stick out just kind of eyebrow level. Out and in. Quite tight to his head, thin ears. Same on this side. Right, like so. And then you can add lines inside for the ear. Like so. And then we'll do those spikes all the way up. So he's got all these zigzag sort of you know, it's all drawn very energetically, so you don't have to be like too careful with it. You just do. It's like his monsterified hair, right? And then you got some ones in the middle. Like so. So he's got Saitama's face in here, and then there's all that energy around it, or his sort of armor around it. So you go all the way around, right? You just do this you change direction in the middle and go at the other side and it just kind of goes right close to his corner of his eye and around his mouth same on this side So then, all these cracks and things that run down, run down here. Thin, there's thin lines, right? So it kind of comes in like different sort of line widths. So thin lines like this, and then we'll thicken some of them up. You're just sort of trying to add cracks and things. Right, like that, and then if you want like thicker lines on some of them, you know, just thicken up, make some of them just kind of darker. Maybe to show, like sometimes there's energy and things like coming through these cracks. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what way the animators do it. When it comes to the animation. All right, but I think I'll leave it there. So then he's got one fist up here and his shoulder going off the page this way, right? So we got like neck muscle line here, neck muscle line here, and then two neck muscles coming in this way. Like some more here, maybe like an Adam's apple or something. There is dark shadow all in here, but we'll just draw in what we can see. You know, if you want some cracks and stuff on this as well. that and then his shoulder kind of goes off this way high up and he's got those bandages coming down over his shoulder his chest muscle sort of comes out from here and then on this side too so like say about the same level so shoulder 
down there. But on this side, we can see like more. So we can see like the armor that's on his shoulder here. Right, so this will go down to there. And this has like an edge to it. Up into the corner there. Just kind of comes down to his other chest muscle, which is here. His little hatching. And then he's got that bandage wrapped around his shoulder on this side as well. So more of this armor then. Right, and this is like his bicep, but this will like go in behind his forearm, which comes this way. But we'll add Maybe like bicep kind of line here, which goes into his armpit. And so that's like the chest muscle going down that way. Which would be like some muscle lines and stuff here. Right, like all hatched and stuff. And then like cracks, cracks and fissures. There, right? So he's got like a fist up in the air up here. So the wrist is like here and comes down around this way. Past like the bicep kind of and his tricep, his big arms, right? So the triceps down at the bottom and then you might have, it goes down that way somewhere. I mean, if you go over any lines, you can raise them. So then at the top of this, so we got his wrist up here, but this wrist has like loads of armor on it as well, right? So it's like this sort of stuff, like with an edge like that. So and it, it's like, it goes all the way down his arm. And his arm will go off the page that way. Right, and then the bottom of his hand, so we got this kind of W, sort of shape, wrist bones going that way, okay. So then this is more armor and stuff and like all cracks and things. I will give this armor some like shadowy edge as well. So this will all be sort of dark shadow. And then add some cracks and fissures and things coming down. So I'm kind of making this up to a certain extent because I can't actually see his elbow or anything. So I think this is what it would look like if it was there. Because this is his bicep, so his tricep will come out to his elbow out there somewhere. So at the top of this then we got his fist, right? So we got thumb. So your thumb is sort of in front of your fist when you make a fist. So we do the thumb first. Out, around, back into there. The bottom of that fist line. And then his sort of thumbnail. Goes around like that, right? And then, so four knuckles and fingers, right? So we'll do the first one. So it goes up back here. And the next one comes down. 
to there and then the bottom of it comes around here and then the next one comes up like this and around like so and then his one so one two three four five so his little finger is here little finger knuckle there so then the little finger is always like the last one and, and it's usually like curved up in behind you can see you've got these sort of skin folds kind of showing just the, the way the fingers kind of all folded up like that right and we got like some more sort of armor sticking out back here on the back of his hand and these do have um, some shadow sections underneath and like cracks and stuff all coming up this way right and then like just hand line coming across and if you want like some knuckle lines like that <laughs> okay that's not bad it's not bad for kind of making this part up Right, now the funny part. So, Saitama's face, kind of drawn real crudely, just back here, okay? So, it's, we just got that round sort of face. I'm gonna draw that first, right? So, it goes down, around, up, right? It's kind of like his chin here. But like, he could just do it like overly, and kind of goes up behind the fist, and around there. And then inside here, we got those eyes, right? So they're just drawn real cartoony kind of like that. And then dot in the middle and around here, dot in the middle. And then his nose just comes down, curves in, a dot for the nostril. And then his little mouth kind of smiling here. Like so. And then the eyebrow. I love this side of my face. Two eyebrows just coming across. And his ear. And then his shoulder is like, comes down from just underneath the ear and goes just down this way. And then there's like a shadow line, right? All on this side, of to his face. I think there's blood coming out from Garu here. I'm not sure. I'm gonna add some. Right, and then, so we'll just go these horizontal sort of lines, right? That put a shadow on this side of Saitama's face. I don't know why this shadow makes it funnier, but it does make it funnier. Like visual comedy, it's amazing really.
<laughs> this was when Garu realized that he doesn't stand a chance. So good. I love One Punch Man. Right, so that's it. The loot. That's how to draw Garu. When he realized he didn't stand a chance. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.